let let's start with the yes good evening good evening Okay. My topic is preschool teaching learning methodology. And so we learn about early learners and pre primary. Early childhood education, also known as nursery education, is a branch of education theory that relates to teaching and teaching of children from birth up to the age of eight. Traditionally, it's up to the equal age of third grade. E ECE is described as an important period of child development. The next is the golden circle. In this golden circle, we'll learn about what, how, and why. What? What every organized organization on the planet know what, what they do. They, these are produce products they sell on their services. How some organization know how to do it. These are the things they make them special and set uh, set them apart from the competition. Why? Why? F few organizations know why they do what they do. Why? Not about making money. That's result. Why is a purpose such as cause or belief? It is very reason you know organization exists so so what is why why do we need early childhood education and how we have to implement implement and what stands the stands for it the prepare to prepare our child physically, socially, mentally, and emotionally, the spirit is equal and creative thoughts explore is very important for actual growth. A whole child approach to educate is one that honors the humanity to each, child, each teacher and student. And it's and is crucial to equal preparation each child to reach their full they start by creating environment of belonging and connecting from students and adult to engage the type. What is the whole child? The early development of the child could in put in a form of physical, social, cognitive, communication. These are the things we are working with. The child learns through different activities like examples done in their class. How we make them understand the, the part of their class. Suppose we are explaining anything in the class. We should be that much clear that the child is getting whatever we are under making them understand. Suppose if we are teaching about fruits, we should give them the visualization how 
the fruit look like or how it is hard or soft suppose an apple it is red in color or it is hard it is sweet shape and round in shape that these all things we have to make them clear what is child development child development refers to sequence of physical language through an emotional change that occurs in child from birth to the beginning of the adulthood during this process a child progress from dependency on their parents guardian into increased development child development is strongly influenced by a genetic factor and even during the parental life it is also influenced by environmental fact and the child learning capacity so when the child is developing the child when the child is born it don't know how to speak how to walk how to eat it is the child is totally dependent on the parent so it is the process where the child learn the child learn how to speak how to walk the physical development is there emotional development is there it all comes from the parents skills such as talking and taking first steps smiling for the first time waving hands saying bye are all development milestones children reach milestones in how they play learn speak or behave move examples like crawling walking dancing talking etc child development skill in five main area of development there are five keys of development cognitive development social and mental emotional development speech and language development fine motor skill development and gross motor skill motor development what is cognitive development as in fact grow and reach early child they become more aware of how the world works and have a better understanding of what where how and why the cognitive development in child is develop of the skill and known knowledge that help them to understand their environmental the environment it's the one second. is the evolution of their thought process how they process and form how they think and feel how they demand right from wrong how they determine right from wrong how they make decision and solve problem how they learn new things and how they preserve the world from around them example talk talking with your baby and name commonly used object singing and reading to your baby exploring your toddlers to books and puzzles now next is social and emotional development these refer to a child ability to interact with others to understand and manage his feelings and emotions example social motor skills are empathy sympathy recognition and recognizing and expre expressing feelings and the ability to relate to others these skills begin in ch early childhood from birth as they as they interact with their and from and from emotional attachments and while continuing growth through adulthood babies who sing babies show sing through social emotional growth by smiling at you when he see you wave goodbye when someone leaves share his toys with siblings even show 
anxiety around strangers around 7 to 9 months or tantrums around age 2 the positive and negative relation reactions are all a normal part of their emotional growth okay when a child is around when a child grows up it deals with many different things like in social social life they deal with how to behave in front of the elders how to talk to the elders when when we are teaching them anything correct or uh, they will react to that if they are not right liking something they will show their tantrums they will uh, not listen to us these are all normal things when they are growing up this is emotional development these are going in their life okay the next is speech and language development the development of speech and language refers to the skill children use to understand and communicate with others language development helps you your child to communicate what they want and how they feel it also certainly to the through process pro problem solving and program pro programming relate with others it is a cultural part of the child development and most of the foundation for language development are laid down in the first 12 month of the baby life and develop at the repeat rate especially between the age of 2 to 5 most children will have learned the basic by the age of 6 what is language and uh, speech and language development when the child is born it only if we talk to them they only blink their eyes or wave their hands or smile at us slowly slowly uh they will get, start saying a single word to a sentence then a forming full sentence this they develop slowly slowly from the age of 12 till the age of 12 months they will be able to relate with three two to three words or a small sentences the first three years of life when the brain is developing and maturing it is the most important incentive period of acquiring speech and language skills this time the child is growing and understanding the language the parents are speaking around it is observing what is the language my parents are speaking we don't keep make them sit and learn but when they are listening to the parents or the grandfather grandmother they absorb it and they learn it how what my parents are speaking and then now the next is fine motor skills this refer to physical needs to make small movements the small muscles specifically the hands and fingers fine motor skills start developing almost at the birth as they grasp flexibility followed as the few months later when they place their fingers in their mouth and they and the by 6 months old when they bring a grasp of object fine motor skill involved more precious to perform than gross motor skills don't tell a soccer player we have we said that through and requires a number of independent skills like hand eye coordination hand control body awareness and patience to work together to perform the task the task at hand no and do things like playing with toys dress themselves feed themselves draw and write when the child is growing child first put their uh, learn how to move their hands uh, they first put their fingers in their mouth they learn how to wave their hands wave their hands slowly 
when they grow up uh when they are 2 uh, years old they take color mm-hmm. pencils start scribbling or write on the wall these all small small things help them to develop their skill motors and when they are doing it we should not stop them if we stop them it will slow down the process so if they are writing with the if they are scribbling or they are uh, writing with the uh with the help of the fingers on the sand so we we should let them play in the sand or learn uh learn how to write or use their uh, muscles so that it will develop their fine motor skills cross motor skills cross motor skills refer to the physical skill need to make large body movements large mass especially the head neck arm and legs it's the movement of your arm legs or the toes in a coordination and controlling way the first example of child development developing his gross motor skills is at around 3 to four months when he arise his head when pulling into a straight position following by rolling over each stage of gross motor skill develop leads to the next as they strengthen the necessary muscles bone to help them process from rolling over to sit crawl walk stand running hopping is extra so gross motor skill also require eyes hands coordination skills such as throwing catching kicking riding riding a scooter or a bike so when a child is growing up the child when the child is born they don't know how to move their head neck arms or legs slowly slowly when the child is growing the child will be able to move their hands neck arms it will try to turn itself from crawling to walking so when the child is processing in this way it will develop their gross motor skills so there is a short video about how the child should how we should behave and how what is the development that takes place There were two independent houses separated by a couple of blocks. In one lived a young techie, and in another, an elderly retired man. Both of them planted identical saplings on their respective side of the compound block. The young guy supplied his plant with a lot of water and high quality manure. The retired man, however, gave his plant just a small quantity of water and a little manure. The techy sapling grew into a lush, green, leafy, robust plant. The retired person's plant was a near normal, but much luxuriant than his neighbor's. One night, there was a heavy rain. the gusty wind and the next morning both came out to see the fate of their plants to the techie's surprise his plant had been uprooted whereas his neighbors was unharmed the techie turned to the neighbor and asked why was my plant uprooted by the rains despite such good care whereas yours stayed firm and strong despite just a little care the neighbor answered look young man you supplied everything the plant would need in abundance since the plant did not have to do anything on its own to search for what it needed the roots of your plants haven't gone to deep down i was supplying my plant just enough to keep it alive for the rest the roots had no choice but to go deep down into the ground to fulfill its needs since the roots of your plant were superficial the rain and wind could easily fell it down 
since the roots of my plant were deeply grounded, it could easily withstand this onslaught of nature. Isn't the story similar to the way we deal with our children, with our youngsters? Sometimes we can be so possessive and overprotective of them. We can end up caring for them to the extent of pampering them, not giving them their space, the facility, the opportunity, and the impetus to grow by taking responsibility. On the other hand, if we just leave them to themselves without proper support and help, they may end up making wrong decisions due to lack of maturity. Caring for our children is exactly like caring for a plant. Underdoing it will make the plant die, but overdoing it will make the plant weak. It is the right balance that we make our children grow luxuriantly and bear flowers and fruits in the form of experience, wisdom, and maturity. Thank you. There were two in the So the next is, why are the early years so important? There's much evidence to support the importance of your child's early development to their health and well-being through later life. Child children experience the greatest rate of development during their early years and the first five years of life are crucially important to in time in brain development while connecting in connection in the brain are made throughout life the rapid pace at which our brain develop in these five years are never repeated see as i show you the video like that when the child is developing, we should give them both uh, from pampering, caring to scolding. We should give them the right amount of care, the right amount of sun, the right amount of rain and the right amount of minerals, food, whatever they need. So whatever they are learning in this five, five years, it will be there with them throughout of their life. It depends, This these five years depends on their rest of the life, how they behave, how they talk, how they, uh, behave, they are in their class or in the society. So in this five years, when we are around our children, we should make sure whatever we are doing, whatever we are talking should be that much appropriate that the child should be there and listen to whatever doing, whatever we are doing. If we are thinking the child is not listening to us and do what we can do whatever we want, then sorry, this is wrong. The child is listening. If, if, if the child is playing also, he or she is absorbing what we are doing, what we are doing, how we are saying. So after some times, you will be able to understand that the child was doing some uh, listening to us when the child repeats those lines or do something what we did how we did like a small example when as a mother when the mother is getting ready or a father is getting ready if a daughter is there and the daughter will go and dress up like try to dress up like a mother because the child is observing how my mother is getting ready how my father is getting ready how my mother is talking sometimes they will imitate you so when we are around them we should take care that we are behaving very nicely in front of them What is development delay? The term development delay describes a child whose skills and ability is one or more area and delay compared with others, other children by the same age. Development delay can reduce a child's ability to communicate, learn, be mobile, live independent, more decision and care of themselves. When the child is not talking suppose a child is very silent in the class not talking to anybody it is because their the parents they are busy with their mobile or their office work or something else they are not giving that ample of time the child needs 
if the parents is talking to their uh, children or the parent or the child who is living with their grandfather grandmother and a joint family or a single family or a nuclear family also if the child is getting that time from the parents the child will speak properly behave properly be confident but if the child is not getting that much care and love from the parents or guardians the child will be have will have face delay in development like the child will not speak not able to talk or not able to write uh, feel embarrassed or scared in front of everybody want to talk to their parents not anybody else so we should take care overall development of the child what is early what is early intervention why is so early intervention so important recognizing development delay early in your child's life can give you child the opportunity and support to develop new skills research suggests the quality of nurture and support provide in the early years in influence a child's ability to learn their behavior the ability to control emotion and take risk for disease later in life why do child children need activity for learning the child will need activity learning because when we see we absorb it fast when we do something what we love we absorb it fast or we learn it fast play built imagination imagination and creativity during playing during play kids research their imagination they create make believe games or get lost in present world children act out different solution while boosting their confidence they make their own rules and they learn how to follow or adapt those rules as needed they are helpful skill for neg for navigation life and develop relationship with others play fosters cognitive growth what is foster cognitive growth means it means that they play in play in essential to help a brain development unstuck unsituated play played play in the time when the child direct their own play they are not bound by curricular or activity described by adults un unstructured play help a child brain development in positive way it strengthen and increase neural communication in the brain connection in the brain these are the path in the brain that we have we use for thinking play de play deliver emotional and behave behavioral benefits when adults feel overwhelmed overwhelmed we re we relate into activity that smooth more smooth us we go to the gym sing concert with friends walk around the neighborhood we the ground garden or play a bond games the activity are more than description they are a way of being being played back into our lives and connection us to the things in the life that help ground us okay when the ch children are playing with us with with their parents then they are free they they that time they give orders to their parents and as a parents we follow that that give them the freedom to develop or keep their uh, views how they want to play what they want to play uh, suppose they are being the teacher and we are being the student they 
instruct us how what we have to write and how we have to write that give them the they that they give them the that they give them the leadership quality that yes we ha you have to do this and you have to do that how you have to write see today i am your teacher and now i you uh, whatever i am repeating you have to repeat after me play improve literacy children are born we are to learn language start from birth they build language by literacy skills through playing instructions babies and toddlers learn new words and adult describes what they see hear or do songs poems connect syllables and two beats to help this help the children development skills and learn about the round about the sound in, in words play encourage great independence children often have little power or say over their daily activities daily act they spend much of their days being told what to do when to do where they have to go in the world of play they have the opportunity to set their rules and to be one with the power they can be the leaders and the adults can be the one who listen and talk directly and take the take directions play promote physical fitness whether they realize it or not children children's bodies are built to be active children have a very strong need of physical play which is any type of play they get they move it's part of how they learn to use their body and strengthen connection in their brain it's so great of exercise which promote fit and healthy children get ready yourself for activity plan that set an instructions for activity keep the instructions short and crisp not more than 5 4 to 5 instructions at a time activity have to plan or prepare well before choosing suitable activities for children activity time wave in it a base plan right from the beginning instructions and wind time must be considered when we are giving any instruction to the children suppose make a line go and one by one go and touch the red ball over there we should give the instructions very clear so that the child will grasp the instructions properly and follow it properly what is preschool means a preschool also known as nursery school preschool also or play school is an institution establishment or learn space offer early childhood education to child before they begin compulsory education at primary school we are here talking about preschool a big questions comes to our mind what is preschool and how and how preschool student what they do in the class what they learn they learn about the pre skills which leads to the ground work for their future through the playing singing drawing dancing etc and all other fun loving activities so the preschool means the skill based activity which is which is a uh, help which help them to learn how to write how to read and how to behave what is the purpose of preschool preschool provide an environment for children to explore gain a sense of self play with peer and build self confidence of children learn they they can complete the task and make decision without the help of their parents what in, uh, early learners and preschool what the child learn is important but what what about the time they takes in school what is the purpose when why they are coming to the preschool 
Preschool is the first steps they take from their home to school. First time they are leaving their parents for a uh, two to three hours of time. First time they are coming to other place without their guardian. So it is the first step that involves uh, educational approach. This is the first step the child is taking. Is preschool and kindergarten the same? In the US, preschool provide information, education before starting school, whereas kindergarten is the first stage of compulsory education of offer at age of five. This is the main difference between preschool and kindergarten. Why preschool is important? In US, preschool provide information education before starting school, whereas kindergarten is the first stage of compulsory education offered at the age of five. This is the main difference between preschool and kindergarten. Different preschool teaching methods and techniques used worldwide. Playway method. The playway method is unique method of learning and can Customize as per the children's and requirement. It varies from child to child. Teacher, teachers should develop different customized learning activities by creating a joyful environment. Shall plan activities range from uh, kindly turn off the mic, please. What can be best for child other than to get a complete feeling of freedom? This method of learning is unplanned and hence encourage the complete freedom of expression. This traditional method of assessing kids on grade systems are compulsory and limited under through method rather the teacher assess the amplitude and the skills of the child child on regular intervention and keep their parents informing the same the child gets promoted to the next level by practice practicing ample of activity like music communication with the teacher and other art other kids art learning and Included in creating skills. Child, children are happy are happiest when they are encouraged in playing. That can happen in different form, like playing with toys, playing outdoor games, hide and seek, or simple by running. Children improve their motor skills, hence enhance their imagination and creativity by playing. This is the example for playway method. Montessori method. Montessori education method can be ingrained successful, successfully into a faith-based program. Every material in a Montessori classroom supports as aspect of children development create a match between the child's natural interest and its ability available activity. Children can learn through their own experience and their own pace. These can, they can respond at any moment of their natural that exists in all human and build a social foundation for lifelong learning. Basic technique methods, playway method, activity based, experimental, discover based, instructional based, story or pedagogic tools. Discovering hobby, habit, and awareness. Learn through different medias. When the child is watching TV or seeing a book or a, a mobile phone, 
the child is learning different thing out of it. Citizenship and awareness. Positive discipline. Responsibility and discipline. Painting. Child learn with different experience. And I will show you some experience. Exploring experience. When the child explore different place, he or she learns different thing. How, if they are going to a park, they learn about how, what is, um, how the car park look like, how they make friends, uh, how the uh, how the uh, animals are there, what animals they saw in the zoo, all different things they learn. Practice. Sensor and tactical activities. Play. Social interaction. In the early years of child's life, they will learn a lot from crawling to walking, planning to talking, and so many other things. They learn words, numbers, shapes, colors, items, people. The list goes on and on. You, your little one will learn how their parents are, who their siblings are, who they are grandparents, and who, they, who, who their friends are. They will begin to learn how to interact with many different people in their life, whether it is by start at them, showing them the favorite toys or trying to communicate through Amplitude word. Your kids being to understand the communication to is key to key to getting anyone to understand them when they cry. Someone will take care of them if you if they if their points at what they need. They will they will mostly like provide it and. Eventually, they will learn how to talk, communicate with people, people more effectively. Example, a social interaction can be seen all walking in life, a person, a professor communicating information to their student. It's an example of exchanging from a social interaction to friend arguing or or over a restaurant in an example of conflict from a social instruction. Pre-primary school program. Pre-primary -primar Pre school program. Pre-primary education set the tone of children's learn in a nurture environment or lay in a healthy foundation of the child all around development being in an important phase of their different development their young child deserve all the care and attention as they are interactive into their new world of learning at the stage the children are active or curious to learn and love to play and engage in activities that interact them Interest them. The, their, the school preschool curriculum takes into amount that aspect and provide very very uh, provide every child an environment to enjoy the learning activities. The school are developed and innovation innovative and engaged teaching methodology in incorporated a blend of Montessori and playway teaching. This empathizes learning involvement, all five senses and meaningful engagement, engaging the child. In 
preschool, we make the child learn. Uh, we work in different aspects like social, cognitive, and um, we work in different method also like playway method, active base method, storytelling. In these all things, we try to develop their all rounding skills. Highlights of pre-primary school program. This empathize is one give, given ch children as atmosphere of freedom so that they can play, sing, and move. The use of toy and interest teaching aids, storytelling, role playing, teaching, alphabets, and numbers through group activities and rhymes are in integral to the learning process. Play Play materials give children the opportunity to see, touch, feel, and explore. The curriculum empathizes all the development of the child and various domains, physical, creative, language, numeracy, and gender awareness. Theme or general awareness is also very important. Theme-based activity rooms provide opportunity to children to develop motor skills creativity imagination teamwork social skills etc learning by doing then doing is encouraged through projects activity involve activity as uh, art craft technology music and dance these activity helps the child acquire integrated knowledge, fine and gross motor skill, apart from making them learning, um, making them enjoy learning. In play school programs, we try to make the class very interesting through uh, storytelling, rhyming, playing with numbers, showing them uh, teaching aids with the child. When the child visualize anything, the child try to take interest in what my teacher is saying, how the teacher is saying and what and they will learn it faster when they start enjoying the class and we uh, put them in groups so that they can interact <laughs> and student progress our student progress is being mon monitored consistently at school through the straight stream of the home homework assignments, quiz tests, projects, standardized tests, or first hearing the team. Student progress mon monitoring or interaction relate maybe they're doing they already or more tested or more tests. But do you really know how much your child is learning in a Progressing, learning or progressing, standardized tests, com compare your child programs with performance with other child or with state standard. However, these days, tests are given at the end of the year. The teacher who has been working with the child during the year will not be able to use the test result to decide how to help your child learning better. Process monitoring can give one or your child teach in teacher information that can help your child learning more uh, learn more or learn fast and help your child teach and help your child's teach teachers teach more effectively and make better decision about the type of instruction that will work better with your child in other words students program monitoring is not other way Assigning a number of child, it will. It is a way of helping your child to learn in the teaching. But this makes a huge question mark. That is, there any progress? Progress monitor is important in and responsible innovation system because providing teachers with the dates that they need to make decision about whether the student is the student should move or 
between difficult years teacher of offer worry worry that doing program progress montessori take more time from the instruction the parents teacher connect a bond between parents and the teacher translate into a better relationship between the students and the teacher as well as it turn can be used to improve the overwhelm experience for students while they learn create and play the development year rising your individual rising a your young individual is serious business teach a teacher a parent and parents need to work in the tandem to bring up the child ensure that that he limits an excel in a choice chosen field going discuss between parents and teacher can enhance achievement and happiness of young learners both side in the class as well as outside an open line communication between parents and teachers as well as engage of parents in the school active facility a better understanding of experience stakeholders to turn can be used to provide improve the improve the overall experience of the students while they are learning creating and playing during the growth of growth of year professional development development program can bring interact in different school and in university across the world improve the associate between their two virtual stakeholders the idea is provide training teaching and how engage their parents of their student according to the mon according according to the mentor a, a close connect between parents and teacher is very important without the help of the parents we teacher are unable to do unable to make the child what we want to make them without the help of the teacher the student is uh, unable to do the task properly so there is a connect between teacher parents and students which works simultaneously and we should take care that it works properly teacher are the guide light teacher are the guiding light and the facts that teacher are the guiding light that provide direction to our life life's teacher still values which helps in reach our goals in the present scenario the day hold great significance hence it make us realize the importance of teachers to relationship which can never change teachers are the light for the students but we teachers hold that uh, things that we should give that idea of how we how our children should work how we have to make our child work in a straight line work in a proper way so this is our responsibility so that our child our children should excel in their study as well as their social life because this is the first step our children are taking conclusion preschool is an instruction that prepare children to the pathway of the education schooling is child's begin being the moment of the child is given birth a person a person learn during the during his lifetime but treat of development is repeat in the first 6 years of the child parents and parents and caregivers play a satisfact uh, uh, parents and the parents and the caregivers plays a significant role in the education of educational life of a child under the age of 3 because children learn from observing and usually acquiring their acquiring the trait of the people taking care of them play, play school plays significant role in preparing a child from educational life thank you everyone good
सेशन प्रियंका वेरी गुड सेशन थैंक यू सर वेल सेशन मैम थैंक यू वेल लिंक आई एम शेयरिंग गुड जॉब थैंक यू नाइस सेशन टीचर एनी क्वेश्चन Very good session, Priyanka. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. It was a successful presentation. अब कहाँ आते हैं इसमें? नहीं मैं तो पूरे हट जा रहा हूँ. I hope all you uh, all of you love my presentation. Thank you, sir. I'm leaving the meeting. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now you can leave. Okay, sir. Thank you.